Volume and open interest. Volume is the number of um, bargains struck within a period, and open interest is the number of bargains left unclosed at the end of a day, um, or, or uh, cumulatively over a week, uh, from day one to day two. They are quite simple, really, to use. Basically, the principle is volume and open interest follow the trend, by which um, the trend... If, if the trend is good, it should be accompanied by vo uh, rising volume and rising open interest. If the trend is poor, or a break, or any, any price action is accompanied by falling uh, volume and falling open interest, it's to be distrusted. In this way, uh, we can look at tests of our patterns, pattern recognition. An additional test of any pattern recognition is whether the completion of a, of a pattern is accompanied by rising volume and rising open interest, or the break of a trend is accompanied by rising volume and rising open interest, because if they're not, then the move is to be uh, rendered suspicious and needs um, further thought and confirmation before we can use it to take decisions. As a result of that basic insight that volume Follow, volume and open interest follow the trend. Price patterns and price trends will have very clear accompanying patterns in volume and open interest. For example, a triangle continuation pattern will have, uh, as the market enters the triangle, will have rising volume, rising open interest. On the retracement, there will be low, falling volume, falling open interest. And uh, on the sell-off uh, of the, to create the, the, the triangle, there will be low volume, low interest. The rise to make the triangle, the, th the second point of the upper uh, diagonal of the triangle, will be low volume open interest. And then volume and open interest will rise suddenly as the triangle completes. And the, and the, the uh, preceding trend is reasserted by the pattern, the triangle pattern. As well, you can look at head and shoulders patterns in terms of the accompanying. So we have the head and shoulders price pattern. We also have a very distinct pattern of volume and open interest inside the, head, the construction and completion of a head and shoulders pattern. Um, to comp you can imagine the sort of thing uh, as the uh, with the first shoulder we have the we have the um, a head and shoulders reversal I should add so with the, f the first shoulder is part of the preceding trend rising volume rising open interest the pullback is initially just a retracement of a bull bull trend the s the, the 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 right left hand side of the head of a um, a bull reversal head and shoulders is accompanied by good volume but closing uh, f static open interest. The other, the right hand side of the head is rising volume static stac static open interest. The second shoulder formed by falling volume on the bull tack and rising volume on the bear tack, and we have falling open interest on the bull tack tack and falling open interest on the bear tack as long ta long term uh, d uh, long positions are closed when the market completes. And then when it's completed, we have new shorts put on, so volume and interest, uh, open interest starts rising, and volume starts rising, showing the emergence of a new trend. Volume and open interest. Volume is the number of um, bargains struck within a period, and open interest is the number of bargains left unclosed at the end of a day, um, or, or uh, cumulatively over a week, uh, from day one to day two.